Hi there, uh, CGS3096. My name is Jean Elias Mestre, and today I'm going to be covering the topic of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing and the ethics surrounding the entire situation. So, essentially, if you didn't know, on August 6, 1945, a atomic bomb was dropped on the city of Hiroshima, where 80,000 civilians were instantly killed. And afterwards, more civilian casualties had followed because of radiation sickness, poisoning, and, and so on. Also, three days later, um, Nagasaki, a, another city in Japan, had also been bombed by a different atomic bomb. And that had led to the instant death of 40,000 civilians. Which was a decision that our former president, Harry Truman, had faced. Although quite a difficult decision, it's a decision that's set in stone and has set precedent for the future of atomic uh, weapons. So, primarily, the whole ethics scenario, what it covers is essentially choosing between the lives of American soldiers and Japanese civilians, although there are a bit more uh, nuances or caveats to the actual situation. But before we discuss the situation more in depth, I do want to discuss the ethical standards so we can have an understanding of what we consider as ethically correct and ethically incorrect. So essentially, the primary topics one would consider when speaking about whether something is ethically correct or incorrect is that it'd be education, it'd be health, and also productivity. which. Whether these uh, subjects, whether we push them forward or they're hindered, is what we consider ethically correct or incorrect. So I would consider the education idea as basically any situation where there's an improvement or establishment of educational institutes. Also, in a non-literal sense, I'd consider anything as a moment of learning. And for health, I'd consider anything that be promoting the longevity of an individual's life and the overall conditional condition of the group or the individual individual of the situation. So for productivity, I'd consider it anything that'll increase the output of a society or a group. Um, basically, people pushing to achieve more, all while improving social condition and or mental health. These are important things to consider because we have to set a precedent as to what we believe is correct or incorrect before we have such a discussion. Now, we can all agree, saving a man from suicide, that would be considered something that promotes health and would be ethically correct, for instance, and something that we'd consider ethically incorrect would be the opposite, essentially burning down a school full of children. That would definitely not be ethical. Now. Without out of the way, I'd like to uh, segue into essentially the difficulty of the decision that our former president had, which this situation had called for this. So with the bombing revolving around the uh, World War II, it was a question of ending the war or not. So it was a choice between risking the lives of millions of American soldiers and casualties or just to end the war in a lesser of a sadistic manner or yeah or essentially to kill thousands of innocent Japanese civilians at a moment's notice or to end it in a less sadistic manner which is you know using the American soldiers but the difficulty of the scenario essentially choose is arises from choosing between human lives because who is to decide, who is to say, or who is to be the verdict in such scenarios as to who should die? I believe as humans, we don't really have that power, or we shouldn't have that power to decide, but sadly, we do. And in this scenario, President Truman had basically chosen the latter. He chose to sacrifice the lives of innocent civilians in Japan to protect the lives of innocent civilians in the United States. At face value, in this situation, either scenario, a human life is being taken. So therefore, I conclude that ethically there is no right answer, 
as neither scenario promotes any topics, um, any of the topics that we discuss, such as health, education, productivity. But we would be inclined, honestly, to believe that Truman's decision was more humane because he does have a role as a president. But before I cover that, I want to kind of dive into the idea that this scenario, the difficulty basically proposes this question as to whether we value human lives equally, which clearly we do not. If that was such a case, it would be the matter of flipping a coin instead of him personally choosing this group over said group. But it's the same way as any person would typically choose to save the life of a loved one over a random stranger. It's just something innate within us, not something I believe we're you know, going to be able to choose or that's something that's going to change in the near future. But with that mentality in mind, he, as a role, um, as a president, I mean, his role is to protect his country. Essentially, the loved one in this scenario is going to be the people of his country, the ones around him, which is going to lead him into following into the ideology of choosing them over a random stranger. Understandably, he values the life of an American soldier over that of a Japanese citizen, which inherently isn't a good thing because you are prioritizing one human life over another. But it's the decision that he took. In this scenario where he had chose to bomb all these innocent civilians, it basically had led to the establishment of an atomic president. So, to more clearly explain, there's two scenarios that he could have chosen. The American lives or bombing the Japanese. In this scenario where he chooses the American citizens, we set up an atomic president, we, an atomic weapons president, I mean, which is an example of something that improves productivity and education, in my opinion, because, um, you know, or education and educational institutes aren't being taken down. And at the same time, it is productive for the world to have this conversation, not in such a grim manner, but we can't change that. And had he not choose, um, sorry, he had also prevented an ongoing war and the casualties that would follow, which would be an example of health. But had he not choose to bomb these civilians, then we, have, we would have been in a scenario where countless American lives would have been lost, the war might have ended differently, and this would only push back the use of an atomic bomb in war. Because, however, it was unethical to use it in that moment um, to kill a, another human life. One of the positives, although I don't want to use that word because of the grim type of situation it is, um, it does set a precedent now as opposed to later, where it could have been a much more of a lethal um, situation. Honestly, I'd say it would have been better for us to set this precedent of this is the amount of power that this type of technology holds and how it should be used, as opposed to later on it being used in a much more chaotic manner, which would have led to possibly even more deaths and a bigger type of tragedy than this scenario. Um, 